Hey everybody, um, I am bringing you a new kind of wood burning experimentation today. Let's just call it that. I don't even know if it has a name. It's kind of like linotype, except I'm not using linoleum, I'm using wood. Um, and I'm burning patterns instead of carving them out. So I'm gonna try something new. I've got some watercolor paper here. This is just like regular old watercolor paper from the arts and crafts store. And I've got some acrylic inks here. And I've kind of experimented a little bit. I, what I want to do is burn out shapes. You can see here, this is like a little bird. And I've already used it with a little red ink or little red acrylic paint. And so what I did was I sketched this little bird shape onto the wood and then I burned out all of the area around it and sort of created a stamp. And what I want to do is do an entire print like that. So if you look up linotype, this is really similar, um, except they use uh, sheets of linoleum and they take little carving tools and they carve it out. But I don't have any of that. So I thought I would try it with wood. It's, it's really the same concept except I'm using wood and a wood burner tool. And I've, I've got some, this is balsa wood. It's super, super soft and it burns. If you can see from the edge here where this stamp is kind of sticking out, because the balsa is so soft, I can carve out and sort of burn down around the edges and create a little stamp. So I've got some stuff sketched out, some little birds, and I'm gonna do both sides of these so I don't waste a side. And I've got three uh, squares of pine. This is uh, leftover wood from another project. And so I kind of uh, just roughly, is that lined up right? Nope, it goes like this. I'm backwards. So I kind of like just hand sketched this. Which way I think it goes this way. It's hard to say upside down and backwards. Okay. Yeah, like this. So I hand sketched this uh, tree onto these three pieces of wood. Now, I mean, obviously I'd love to use just like one solid sheet, but I'm trying to reuse stuff I have here in the shop already. And this pine is really soft and I know I can burn all around it and kind of create a stamp. So the goal here is all the sketched areas I'm gonna leave raised up and all of the areas around it I'm gonna burn off and create a relief or a stamp and then I'm gonna ink it and stamp it to the paper. So I just wanted to try it, wanted to see if I'm able to create some really cool prints with this and then I can use them over and over again and I can make several prints. I think it would be a lot of fun to just give it a shot and you know, I love to burn patterns and textures. I learned to burn, I love to burn deep into the wood. And um, this is just a great little experiment to try and see what happens. So let's get started. I'm just gonna get my burner out and start um, burning away all these extra bits of wood. So here we go. So I'm gonna try to burn these stamp pieces. You can see from the side how it's, it stands up like a stamp. And I've got this already sketched out this little bird. I've got my burner ready. All I need to do is burn around the bird. So all of this negative space here is what's going to get burnt. burning away all of this negative space here. So 
you can see what I'm after here. The stamp part needs to be up higher and I'm just burning away all of this extra space. So I'm just going to keep on burning this and taking away all this negative space. So now I'm moving on to the tree pieces. This is the small one here. There's not much to this one, but that actually means I'm gonna have to burn more because all of this is gonna get burnt and all of these little sketched areas are gonna be left unburned. I have got my burn master ready to go. I've got my straight edge tip loaded. So I'm gonna outline these and then I'll burn in between each line. So I've got my, my stamp pieces here and my sheet of paper. So essentially I'm going to ink it and then flip them upside down like this onto the paper. I've got my acrylic paints right here and I've got these little rollers that will help me apply the acrylic like this. So I'm gonna squirt some paint here onto, I've got just some parchment paper sitting here and kind of roll this out and cover the roller and then ink the, the wood like this. I wanna get a nice even coating, but I want it to be thin so it doesn't get down in the cracks. That's why I'm using the roller. So I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna squirt some of this uh, ink out and uh, it's not ink, I keep saying ink, but it's uh, acrylic paint and I'm gonna get roll it out and uh, start stamping. So here we go. I'm going to line it up here as best I can with the corner and just place it. Wow. 
what? It almost kind of looks like a tiger print pattern. Okay, I'm gonna lift this one up. So these top ones didn't really stick at all. Okay, I'm gonna lift this one up. What? That one came out darker. Well, maybe because I mixed the paint up differently. That is kind of cool. Look at it. You can see where I've got, you know, the little different sections here, but I think I can use my brush and just kind of connect a couple of these pieces so that it doesn't look separated. So I'm going to use some red for this and I have a little, I have a little baby roller. say it's a masterpiece it doesn't need to you know hang anywhere but I'm really I mean overall for doing this for the first time I'm really pleased with how it came out So thanks for watching this video. Um, I am really happy with how this turned out as far as like, you know, this being my very first stamp project. So I see a lot of potential here to do different projects and, you know, I can keep these and reuse them again and again and in different ways. Now I would love to kind of upgrade to having one solid sheet of wood so I don't have to do it in pieces. Um, but you know, this was an experiment. This was me to kind of testing this out to see how it would go. And um, I'm really encouraged and hopeful and inspired to try some other stuff. Um, you know, I went back and I added some um, blue kind of over the white and kind of, kind of give it like a faded background. I didn't want it to be too strong, but overall I'm happy with how it came out. I love the blue and the red together. And I added a little bit of brown here at the bottom just to kind of differentiate um, the, the ground area from the background area. So yeah, super happy with how it came out. I'll do more videos like this. I'm gonna try some lettering. I think that would be super cool because I can stamp it and use it over and over again. And uh, I just, I gotta get a lot of balsa. Um, I gotta get a lot of this, uh, these little balsa pieces to do that. So. One of these days I'll put together that video and maybe do a lettering project. I think that would be super cool. So yeah, stay tuned you guys and thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. If you want to uh, get notified when we post new videos, hit that little bell so that you'll get a notification. And uh, thanks for watching you guys.